and what we'll do is go to our GPS screen. Now there's a lot of information on here what you guys who are just doing a straight line don't need to worry about. The one thing I need you to worry about is literally the top bit which says Swath 1 Recorder. And possibly the right hand side bit which says Remark. When you're on a low accuracy level guidance system, Remark will really come in because as you're going through the day, two, three, four hours over, you'll start to find that your guidance lines have drifted over. So we'll use Remark to basically realign the maybe lines and move them to where you want. So what I'll quickly do now is swath recorder. What this would normally say in here, instead of field, it will say straight. So you will see something like that. And a straight is basically marking A and then marking B. So all I'll do now is mark A. What would usually happen when you freshly jumped on the tractor, and I maybe should have keyed off and keyed on to, to show you this, it would come up with a message. When you press mark A for the first time, it will come up with a safety message. What you need to do there is accept that and then press mark A again. A lot of people press mark A, accept the message and then drive and realize when they get to the end that they've not actually marked A properly. So make sure it says mark B before you start driving. So what I'm gonna do now is put my tractor into gear and I'm gonna drive so far and it can be 10 meters it could be from one corner of the field to the other and i would suggest if you are going down a perfectly straight edge of a field go from one corner to the other it makes it a lot more accurate when you get to the other end of the field if you only did it uh, for 10 meters by the time you get to the other end of the field you could be out by five meters but for quick demonstration purposes i'm going to press mark b and what this has now done look on our screen it has put in our AB lines at two meter distances, okay? And what we now have is ready to engage. Now when you first jump on your tractor, it will say system off like that. And what we need to do is cycle off and on our master switch, which is just there. I've already showed this in a few other videos. That on the left hand side there is the master switch. So press that top half on. And what we've now got is where it said system off, it now says ready to engage. And we are now ready to press our guidance engage. And while it says auto engaged, it's now going to engage on our AB line, what we've just put in. So all I need to do is drive forward and the tractor will stick to that line. Some little tips on turning round, because it's one thing when you're fresh to using guidance on tractors, people can't quite get their head around. So, what we do is, I'll lift my arms up, pretend we're turning round, and it'll stop recording, look. What I'm gonna do is turn around, and you'll see, look, while I'm moving the steering wheel and doing bits and bobs with the steering, it's saying please wait and manual override, and keeps flitting between the two things, and then it'll randomly say we're ready to engage. What happens a lot, when people are fresh to it, is it saying manual override, so I'm turning the steering wheel, and what's happening is people are pressing auto like that look and it's coming up with steering wheel movement detected and it's not engaging on the line and somebody then is letting go of the steering wheel thinking they're on that AB line and they're, they're actually not and it's drifting off and they've got to quickly grab all the steering wheel, lift up, realign, back up and that sort of thing so what I suggest you do when you're turning around is let go of the steering wheel in good time so give the tractor possibly a good half a second to say ready to engage. So again, I'm gonna take control, I'm gonna turn around, look, and I'm just gonna let go of the steering wheel so I'm not manually overriding, okay? As I'm coming around now, you can see on the swath map, the red line is the one that it's going to engage on. So bear that in mind as well. Also, these are real, really tight together because it's only two meters. Press auto and we're off. So just give the tractor time in between you pressing engage and turning before you go and press engage basically because again I'll show you again when I turn around look if I go and press it too soon it does this and people look away from the screen and think they're engaged and they're actually not you can quickly press retry in which case it'll it might it might nip onto that line you're already on 
but in most cases you've got to turn around or back up should I say and try again so a little bit of a bit of a tip there for you when you're doing your your auto guidance um, the next thing I was going to talk to you about was your remark so you can see there look the remark is is zero 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 in a white box so what I'm going to do is turn around I'm going to engage on a line and you'll see that, that remark will grey out and we can't change it okay so I'm just going to engage on that it's now blanked out and we can't press it but we can't do anything with it as the day moves on and, and drift starts to incur we can use remark to move our guidance lines over so if I say right I'm in the wrong place there I don't want to be there I need to be here you can manually move the tractor to where you want it to be and you can see now our cross track error is how far off our guidance line we are so that's now saying we're, we're a foot off of our guidance line and remark has now come up with a white box so we're not engaged you must not be engaged to do this and you must be off of your line somewhere so I can now press a white box and in here we can do three things we can set to current which is the position of the tractor now as we're stood so if you just want to quickly move and put the tractor where you want it to be press remark and set to current and it'll shift them guidance lines to where you are the other way of doing it which I've said in a previous video as well which I use for half width shut off so for you guys who aren't doing boundaries and things but you're still using your GPS to do drilling you can use your remark function to do your half width so you can tell the tractor how far off you want to be on the line so if I was a 3 meter drill I would say 1.5 meters and that would shift your half your width over for your, for your continuous run bear in mind that it is in meters so if you want to move a small distance across you must use point and then point one would be 10 centimeters point zero five would be five centimeters okay or point zero two five would be an inch in old money okay so if you need to move an inch across use your remark to do that alternatively like I've said set to current okay and what that's doing now look the remark has now gone from zero to point three so it's saying with point three meters off of where our original AB line was all right what we can do now is the other third thing you can do is is reset so we can reset it to the original line I love using remark it's a lot better than nudge it's more permanent than nudge um, it's just it's it's an easy way of, of moving your, your AB lines to where you want them to be the same comes if you want to keep the same AB line but you've gone onto a different sized implement and your first line on the on the boundary side of the field isn't right you can simply put the tractor where you want it to be and remark it and move it and then continue on the AB lines hope that's a nice little introduction to doing an AB line what I'll move on to next is your swath types so you can see up there you've got swath type I'll move on to that next and hopefully try and get you guys a little bit more clued on how to use GPS and those who are novices and even if you want to learn a bit about it hopefully this is encouraging you to maybe try it and have a demo kit off